Hi Sagittarius, hope your weekend is getting started off right. I took a good nap, <laughs> I can't lie. So Sagittarius, this is just what you're needing to know right now. And um, if you're new here, this is a purely Sagittarius channel. I do a lot of readings here for Sagittarius. <laughs> and um, my name is Heidi, I am a Sagittarius sun and moon so i believe i'm qualified to speak on it <laughs> so if you're looking for more please check out um, my description box for personal readings i also make journals all kinds of things so sag sagittarius so we have thinker loyal heart and round and round sag um the universe and i because i asked for this from spirit guides they want you to know um, that someone is thinking about you as much as you're thinking about them, okay? And um, it's really interesting because loyal heart is here, which doesn't always just mean romantic love, like just someone you are very in sync with, um, someone you were loyal to and you thought was loyal to you and and I feel like this is someone um, they keep swirling around thoughts of you in their head um, this could also because round and round is just a repeating thing right so it could be that you know no matter what happens this you and this person always come back right you always come back together and to be honest with you I feel like this is a friend I do um, because underneath the deck, this was someone probably that you helped a lot. Um, but with the three of cups, there, there was so, such good things between you, right? Very close, good times, probably fun, but definitely there was a lot of love there, a lot of nurturing and, um, you were just good for each other. And I feel like deep down, you probably remember this, you know, but of course there was some stuff that happened. <laughs> of course there was, Sag, of course. What's this all about is that the two of wands, you kind of went your separate ways. Maybe like just, maybe it wasn't about something horrible. Maybe it was just about life took different, took you in different directions, took you on different paths. And there is a feeling of wanting to come back together, um, even though, like, because the two of wands is, like, being out of your comfort zone, but it's also distance, like, it's about, you know, being at a crossroads, and I do feel like you and this person just took different paths. I don't feel like there was some big dramatic event, but it does really hurt. Um... It does really hurt. You know, with the Three of Swords being here, I feel like um, you may think that it hasn't really affected this person, but it has. Because the Three of Swords is, you know, it is about heartbreak, but it also holds the energy of your truth, their truth, and the actual truth. And the truth is, it hurts them too. Um, it hurts them too. And, you know, I feel like what this means for you is that it isn't like you think, okay, um, that there, this person is hurting just as much as you are. And you may think that they betrayed you. Um, but I, I actually don't feel like that's what happened. I just feel like life took you in different directions. Um, but it, there is a lot of pain here. And with the Ten of Swords, I see the Ten of Swords as all tens are completion. You know, and it's kind of telling you that the pain is over, especially followed up by the Ace of Pentacles. You could expect to hear from this person or for there to be an opportunity um, for a fresh start that maybe is a little more stable than it was before. Um, but you definitely are coming back together as different people. Uh, so, you know, if I'm being honest, I find this energy really beautiful. I find it really beautiful. So, you know, we're going to take 
more of a look here. A look see. So let's get some clarification on these energies. Some clarification. Some more information for my Sagittarius friends and family. Sagittarius. What more do we need to know about this? What do we need to know? Seven of Wands is on the bottom with the Page of Pentacles. To fix this, you have to let your guard down. Okay, FYI. <laughs> you know, 10 4. So tell me about this. Oh, wow. The Nine of Cups is here, too. So, you know, there's a wish coming true here for sure. So tell me about the Three of Cups and the Empress, please. Three of Cups. Oh, very quick. The Empress is is <laughs> is clarifying the Empress. And I feel like this person actually does respect you a whole lot. Um, and with the Page of Swords, um, I feel like this person wants to help you out. I feel like they definitely do want to bring healing in here. Um, and I feel like they've been watching you flourish, to be honest. Can you tell me more about the Empress? I, you know what? I feel like they watch you because you definitely, I don't know, you help this person in some way. Maybe you inspire them, right? Maybe you make them feel peaceful because that is the energy of the Empress. Yeah. I mean, I feel like ever since, you know, the Ten of Cups reversed, so there was a, an ending of sorts here. Um, like a breakdown in this relationship and I feel like they're kind of waiting okay because you are the empress so they have to come to you with equal energy that's what the empress clarifying the empress means to me they're going to have to match that empress energy um because they made you feel unloved yes yes Okay. <laughs> okay. So tell me about thinker. What is this person thinking? What is this person thinking? Queen of Swords. Mm, they probably think um I think that they maybe they feel like you're you're kind of cold to them now like they're feeling coldness from you tell me about the queen of swords maybe you won't listen yeah <laughs> the sun is here too in terms of what they're thinking about like they feel like you maybe don't like you're just cold towards them like that's the energy and you know they want things to be good again they want things to be happy again tell me about loyal heart ten of swords yeah yeah there definitely was an ending here they felt it and you felt it and you were both hurt by it just and i kind of feel like that is the energy that you're needing to see is that this person hurts as much as you do Round and round. Six of Cups. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You guys come back together a lot. And I feel like that is about to happen again. So you may hear from this person for sure. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Four of Swords. I feel like they're figuring out um, what to say to be honest, because usually, like I've said before with the Four of Swords, you know, um, it could be that they've been going through some things in their own life 
for sure. Um, but with the Four of Swords, there's always one sword left out. So they're kind of figuring things out. They're taking time alone to figure out how to come back. Okay, Two of Wands. Knight of Cups want it to be seen. Yeah, Two of Wands with the Four of Wands. I feel like you both kind of going your own way. And now what this is about is how to bring it back together. Three of Swords. Nine of Pentacles reversed. There could have been some jealousy or some financial issues. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Two of Swords. Yeah. I just feel like um, you didn't see a lot. Yeah, look, the Eight of Cups. This person may have walked away because of, you know, some jealousy. Um, there may have been some jealousy between you or this person could have been jealous of, you know, of you, you know, and with the two of swords, <laughs> oh, that's kind of what you don't see, you know, the blinders that you have on. And I kind of feel like you may not have seen how this person struggles. You may have had a different opinion and you know, the Eight of Cups definitely <laughs> is walking away from what no longer serves you. And it's so interesting and confusing all at the same time. Three of Swords. <laughs> three of Swords again. The Three of Swords is clarifying the Three of Swords. I mean, I feel like there was a lot of jealousy here maybe. Maybe even going through one's own personal problems, specifically when it comes to finances and not being able to meet the other person's needs. So if that's romantic or that is um, friendship, there was a big lesson learned here. And there was definitely um, a need to walk away because it almost like it was too painful not to, right? Too painful, not, yeah, look, we're seeing the two of wands on the bottom with temperance. And I feel like the universe kind of made y'all go separate ways so that you could come back together in a better way, right? Tell me about the ten of swords. King of wands. Yeah, because... You know, I kind of feel sad, like there was a mission that you were supposed to get on, you know, five of cups. But I, I do really feel like you wish it didn't happen the way it did, um, because it makes you sad. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person needed to get their stuff together. <laughs> they did. Um, and they've also, this person may have really have been struggling financially. And they may have kind of even been envious of you, you know, you being okay in that department. You know, and... <sighs> I mean, part of part of this separation kind of, too, is about they needed to get into a better place with financially. And now they can because before they honestly. So, I mean, this may be more than friendship, but and I also feel like um, this person may have been jealous and that may have caused pain. But with the nine of pentacles being reversed, this person definitely struggled. Um definitely struggled with you know things that they were going on going on in their life and they just felt like they had to wake to walk away 
They felt like they had to walk away before more harm was done. You know, maybe they felt that they caused enough harm, you know, and that's why they did it. And there is, you know, there is this, you know, with the Ten of Swords, there definitely is going to be hashing things out, you know, um, because there is a lot of regret here. And the King of Wands is about positive action forward. It's someone who actually takes action, takes the lead, takes control, knows what he wants. And that was part of what really, you know, that was part of everything. You know, this person didn't know what they wanted. They weren't in this King of Wands energy. And you already had a vision for your life. And so, yeah, geez. But now they're in King of Pentacles energy. So the, things are much different. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. And that's why they're coming to talk. That's why they're coming to talk. So let's see who is this person to Sagittarius. Queen of Wands. Who is this person to Sagittarius? That could mean that they were attracted to you. Mm. Two of Cups reversed. Who is this person to Sagittarius? Hmm. I do feel like this was a friend, but it was definitely failed. Um, you know, definitely someone you moved away from because they didn't put in the effort, basically. They put didn't put in the effort, but they're different now, Saj. The King of Cups is on the bottom with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Um, they're going to explain everything, especially, you know, open up to you about what they've been through. And what they've been doing. Definitely. And on the bottom of this deck is the High Priestess. <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. Which completely tells the story. I feel like this was a lot about. You know. This person's been hiding from you. Probably. You know. not speaking is kind of because the high priestess is what's hidden but what you don't realize is that this person has really gotten on the right path they are really moving towards the right path and you know i i do feel like they're going to tell you let's see what the queen of wands is about that was quick yeah, they're bringing change to you, Saj. Transformation. You know, um, so it, it, this person is really going to take a risk because that is what the Queen of Wands is. And definitely in terms of talking to you, they're, they're really making moves towards their own stability and their own personal success. And I feel like you had to separate in order for that to happen. You had to, um, you were, you had to be on different paths. And I feel like the universe wanted that. The universe wanted that, especially so that situations wouldn't keep repeating themselves. Hmm. Sage. So let's, let's get your lesson. So I would expect to hear from this person and it's going to be real super honest. This is a person you've known for a long time. So what is the lesson here for Sag? MV, I am the same as everybody. Maybe there was some mutual jealousy. I don't know. Blame, I accept responsibility for my well-being um, and surrender. I can release my need to control. So I, I really do feel like what you need to know is that 
you know, it wasn't just about this person hurting you. They were also going through some things. And, um, and basically to not lay blame and to just feel like you don't have to know how everything turns out. You don't have to control, right? That's what, you know, because surrender deals with attachment. And you may have been um, too attached to blame. Um, and, you know, you were needing to see that this person has been going through challenges too. You know, that feels like a real big place of compassion. So it's beautiful, Sag. So let me know how it goes, toodles.